Good morning, people. It's Saturday. Oh, yes. It's blowing like no one's business out there. The rain is in the air and it's just starting to hit now, so we've got the joys of that. Um, but just popped into spoons, a bit of breakfast, so we're going to kick off with some breakfast. Breakfast of champions, of course. Stand at R2. I am on holiday after all. Haggis and black pudding seems a nice addition to your breakfast up here. Seems a very popular choice. So I've added a bit of haggis to my bacon, oh sorry, it's my sausage sandwich. I might try to see if little OG fancies a bit. I don't think you've ever had it, have you? Oh, you have, he's had it. Yeah, I didn't mind it when I had it. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's see where I'll get blown to today. There's my sandwich there, and there's my, my haggis. It's very nice, had some already. Little OG's skipping it, but his breakfast don't look half bad, look at that. Nice big old breakfast weather spoons there. Happy days. Not so good today, guys. Little OG's gone back and he's gone to DOS for the day <laughs> in front of the telly. Well, I swear, off to the Blackpool dungeon. I'm treating it, Mrs. OG to the dungeon experience. Oh, yeah. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Hope the weather improves. So we survived the, uh, the, the Blackpool dungeon. I'll be honest, it's an hour long experience and a nice ride at the end. Um, Mrs. OG doesn't go in for anything like that at all, so I was quite surprised when she agreed to it. But she just come out and she said, for the money, that weren't bad actually. She said that was quite good. Even she enjoyed it. She wasn't gonna do the ride at the end, but she did it. Well done. So much so, I've taken her in now, in the, we're in the Red Lion pub, which is part of the theme, uh, where they serve Camden Hell's Lager. So one of these for me. And Mrs. OG enjoyed it so much, she had this to drink. She's opted for a blue WKD. She's on the alcohol. <laughs> Anything could happen. A boost. And I bought us a boost bar. Oh, yes. There we go. Nice little fiend bar area. There we go. So this is the Red Lion. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, very, very good. Really enjoyed that. Uh, the dark if steps of sophistication. I won't go that far, but it was actually very good indeed. Now, when OG was uh, back in the day, this is the sort of place I would have frequented quite often. Oh, yes. We then headed to a lovely little bar on the seafront called the Spyglass. Don't get me wrong, not the cheapest bar we frequented all weekend, but Mrs. OG here had, look, another alcoholic beverage. Yes. A martini espresso and I had a pint of Peroni and I have finished my Peroni because she was only halfway down her espresso so I had to have another one uh, while, she, while she was playing catch up with me generally but all in all a very nice bar I liked it in here so a good afternoon out with uh, Mrs OG we did the um, dungeons there the Blackpool dungeons uh, we stopped in and had a pint after the dungeons in the red line and just sat and had a nice couple of beers in the spy glass. It's a great little place for people watching. Uh, but we're going to head back now. Going to go and find little OG and find out what the plan is. See if he's coming out to play. And if he is, we're not sure whether to go out and just have a good few beers this afternoon and then sort of an earlier night get a takeaway in or something. Or whether to go out and eat it large and have a meal out and all that, or do that tomorrow. Tell you what, the world is my lobster. My little pony, skinny and bony. Little OG didn't fancy that one, I would admit. I was even gonna pay, you know. comes our tram to get us back to Little OG. We've come back, Little OG is now out, so we're going on to the South Pier, and we're going to have a beer, or two or three, and see what's going on here. Anyway, South Pier people. Well, 
Schwartz Bar there, look. That'll do, I reckon, don't you? Oh, yes. Is there a go? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Unfortunately, Scotland didn't do very well last night. Less said, the better. Oh, Mrs. OG, look, she's got a, a hot chocolate in a glass. But look, Easy. it come with a Biscoff. You don't like Biscoff, do you? So you this stuff is really it. rated. I don't mind it. Do you know what? I'm going to eat the Biscoff biscuit. You can have it. Thank you. I've just had two. Are you a fan of Biscoff? <laughs> Drop in the comments, yay or nay. In the sports bar on the pier, uh, Mrs. OG's just gone back. I'm going to stay out and have one with uh, little OG. He's bought another portion of these hot nuts. We don't get these down south anymore. We used to get these all the time. Sahara. Like, Sahara yeah, nuts. Sahara, what they were called, yeah. Nice, nice. They're like a nut in a Christie's shell. Mm. They're good. You just don't get them anymore. Anyway, I'm going to go back. I'll sit in this show here. It's great here, but everything I'm eating is chips, this, chips, that, chips, that. I said, look, I said, I'm going to order some takeaways tonight. I said, I'm going to get a Chinese, a bit of rice, a bit of curry, something like that, you know what I mean? It's out with rice, a break from the deep fried chips. That said, them churros. <laughs> <laughs> them churros on the pier were very tasty and they were rather deep fried so all in all not too bad but I've had for you yeah for mum really mm. anyway I need half of one I let Mrs OG have them that's a treat for the day um anyway onwards and upwards guys yes I'm looking out there and looking at the waves and my god they look a bit ropey just left the pier there people now walking back to the uh, the airbnb a little og said i'm off i said where are you going so i'm going on the tram <laughs> he jumps on the tram he's gone off to central blackpool where it's party capital of the world on a saturday night but hey i'm a bit more sensible than that so i've just finished my beer on the pier and I'm going back to see Mrs. OG. Oh yes. Johnny's takeaway. A beer in front of the telly, methinks. Because I think that's what we do <laughs> at our age. Saturday evening, we just had a very nice Chinese takeaway. Well, me and Mrs. OG. Little OG's disappeared, isn't it? He's gone off to centre of Blackpool town to go partying. God knows what's going to happen to him. <laughs> anyway, watching a bit of telly and the rest of it. What time are we on? Right, it's 9.30. Look outside my window, right? I've noticed a massive... How much brighter it is up here, didn't we? We've both said this. Yeah, it's very odd. Um, if I was at home... It'll be getting dark, but up here, it's not. It's not, we're not that far north, are we? Most bizarre, most bizarre. Anyway, had a very good afternoon. Nice evening meal. And it's probably not long before I go out of bed, believe it or not. Well, I don't feel right with it being light outside, so I'll stay up. <laughs> anyway, Sunday tomorrow. So our final full day here, no plans, none at all. We're going to play it by ear and go with the flow. Oh yes. So anyway, uh, you've had a great Saturday. See you all tomorrow for Sunday. Good morning people, it is Sunday. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> the sun is actually shining and it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers at home watching. I've had a nice couple of cards here, look. One here from Lara and Luna, bless them. They're at home being looked after by the mother-in-law and they still remembered Father's Day card for me. Oh, aren't they? Good couple of girls there. And I've got one here, look. This is from Nicolette, bless her. On Father's Day, the force is strong. Oh yes, little OG is still in bed. He sent me a text about 10 minutes ago to say that I'm, uh, he said, I'm, <laughs> I'm having a couple more hours in bed, I need it. Which tells you maybe his partying was a bit hard yesterday. I mean, I had a good few beers yesterday sort of evening. 
ended up on that pier, and I was just, yeah, I had quite a few, actually. It was nice. <laughs> it went down very well. Yeah, but I, I was ready for my bed <laughs> by the evening. Uh, but anyway, plans for today. Well, I think me and Mrs. OG are going to head off out. Probably jump on the tram and head into sort of the, the busier part of town. Um, and then little OG said he'll come and join us later. <laughs> obviously, obviously suffering, bless him. But I fancy a nice meal somewhere today, a nice sit-down meal. Because, um, you know, the problem is it's chips with everything, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's seaside town. But I had a Chinese last night to have a bro. I said, I can't eat chips today. <laughs> no chips for me, I said. So we had a nice Chinese. Although I didn't eat a lot of it. The rest is in the fridge there. I'll probably just end up binning it. Um, yeah, and little OG come back with a huge Indian takeaway. I don't, God knows what he'd got. Oh, anyway, yeah, so I've been tidied up the carnage of that this morning. Um, but yeah, we're going to head out. I think it's beer o'clock so shortly, guys, because it'd be rude not to. It's not quite midday yet. But uh, yeah, I will save myself till midday for my first pint of the day today. Uh, a mooch about, and who knows, we're going to make it up as we go along, but I fancy going into that Coral Island. It's like a big amusement arcade thing there. I think they've got a bar in there, but they've got some sort of internal sort of trans train ride thing. I think it's for kids, but hey, I might jump on it, you know what I mean? I might not, we shall see. Anyway, guys, onwards and upwards. Me and Mrs. OG out on a little stroll, and we're on the beach. Oh, yes, the nice sandy beach of Blackpool. Uh, having a nice walk along. Not sure what the plan is. Um, well, I do know what the plan is. Uh, we're walking along. Um, I said, I fancy a little stroll this morning rather than jumping straight on the tram. I will have to jump on the tram at some point though. Cause, uh, so it's quite a walk. Cause you, you look, all right mate, you look along the front there and it's, uh, it, looks, um, it looks a lot shorter than what it is. So yeah. But it isn't, it's quite a stroll. But anyway, nice fresh day. Uh, look at the sea there. <laughs> the wind is blowing a good one, okay. As you can see, Mrs. OG here. Give us a wave, missus. <laughs> windy enough for you. It's very windy, isn't it? Oh, it's very windy indeed. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, sun keeps breaking out, but there's a nice cold breeze to go along with it. But all in all, it's a lovely, beautiful beach. Honestly, you had young kids and it was a nice day, you'd keep them occupied here all day. Go to the pub, leave them on their own, they'll be fine. <laughs> joking, joking. Uh, don't do it. Don't be that bad parent. Oh, anyway, guys, onwards and upwards. Soon be beer o'clock. After leaving that windy beach, we head into the town centre, and I have to say, I was uh, I was quite impressed by the uh, the town centre here. Some great selection of shops, plenty of clothes shops for Mrs. OG, and of course a CEX. Now a spoiler straight away. I did have no pickups in here at all. I'll be absolutely honest, right? There's a few games I could have picked up. Of course I could, there's always something worth getting. But you know what, I just weren't in the mood. I was just thought, I'll just go and have a quick look. And I just thought, I'm here to sort of enjoy the experience and drink and, and just have a good time really. So uh, yeah, I didn't pick up any games on this, this long weekend. But I saw this here, Fritz, and I thought it was like Fritz the Cat, the old 80s cartoon, do you remember? Yeah, it was like an adults only cartoon. He was Frisk the Bawny Cat or something, yeah, anyway. Bit of God of War there, uh, and a few essentials in here, quite a few red labels. Of course, Mrs. OG, loving her CEX gaming experience here, as you can tell. She's a good stick, really, she doesn't mind. And uh, looking at the Wii U, and behind me, of course, as I say, the Wii U games. I did have a look, right, and as always, you know what I'm about to say. The Wii U tiles, I had them all, of course I did. But I am getting nearer that full Wii U power set. Yes, I am. I can't have more to go, to be honest. Uh, and a final look in the windows here, because there's always something worth finding in these windows, worth having a look for. Uh, and I like the way they put their stickers on the uh, price in there, because you can't always see them. So that was quite nicely done. And again, they even priced up their little figures in here, you know, for what you get for them various games. Um, quite a nice selection of Mega Drive games there. And finally, a good quick look at the PS1 titles. Some nice ones there too. First point of the day, Lady Stella. Oh, it's scrubs.
felt that go right down. It was lovely. There's to the first. Mm. Um, yeah. So we're in the town centre. I'm coming look around the shopping centre and stuff. It's quite nice. And uh, yeah, the Rose and Crown Pub. Anyway, bought some lunch. I get a Quavers. I know how to treat Mrs. H. -er. This beer catching the girls. Ah. Happy Barbara's Day for me. Thank you very much. From Lara and Luna. Cheers, girls. Hope you're having a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. It's pretty large, isn't it? Just popped into Coral Island, and as Nick said, it's very much like Vegas in here. Mate, it's quite big, isn't it? <laughs> it wasn't what I was expecting. It's no! Huge. They're quite impressed at this. Bar and restaurant upstairs, you say? <laughs> Where should we go? Upstairs. What time is it? As arcades go, this is very impressive, guys. Probably the best arcade I've been in in the UK. Look at there, a halo machine. Got this nice ride that's risen around. I'm gonna get Mrs. OG on that soon. Massive Fast and Furious arcade over there, look at that. But yeah, some really good bits in here. Very, 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 very surprised indeed. But there's the ride up there, look. I think I should get on there, don't you? So not only did I get Mrs. OG in the dungeon yesterday, I'm now about to put her through this. Oh yes. The ghost train. Looks spooky. Great place this, honestly. Really impressive. <laughs> pretty amazing it's huge it's huge it goes on and on and on loads of video games and that in here loads of gambling for kids and a bar and a restaurant but we'll do the restaurant uh, or a pint after the ghost train methinks if we survive it of course Oh, we're going to dip. It's going to spin us down. Oh, yes. Oh, no. What's behind this, Nick? Oh, dear. Oof. He's not happy. This is OG's loving it. Look at her face. <laughs> This ain't gonna be good, guys. Oh no. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, oh Oof. It's gone eerily quiet. Too quiet. Oh! oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to hit me. I thought I had my eyes shut. It goes quite fast. Oh my god. Can you see me? So, Mrs. OG, you survived the ghost train. <laughs> I did. I what did. are we going to do now? Uh, that, that little ride doesn't... There's like a ride thing that flies around, around the... Uh, the well, I say flies, it doesn't quite fly. But it whizzes around the arcade floor. So, I'm going to put her on that next. And then what will we do? Well, we need a drink. We'll need a drink after that, I think. Yeah. Because that scary ghost train and then this, this little roller coaster. <laughs> 
This looks great fun. <laughs> uh, I just said to me, so we got off that show truck. I said, you're never too old for these things. You're never too old. So anyway, let's go ride the train. And around, look at him, chilling out. Anyway, onto the flyer. We're on the train and we are armed and dangerous. Let me show you our view, guys. <laughs> Look at it. It's a, such a big old place, this. I'm looking forward to getting in that bar at the end of this, though, to be honest. I think we have to shoot some piratey type things as we go. But you know what? As I always kept saying, you're never too old for this stuff, people. Oh, no. Don't get old, it's boring. <laughs> and look at Mrs. OG's face, look. Look how excited she is. She loves all this stuff. And now, like I say, we've got this gun, although my trigger's a bit wonky. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they really work, to be fair. But it's all part of the fun, and we're off ski. There we go, guys. Oh, that's as far as we went. Man over there, look, can you see him? There he is, bless him. He got me all excited, I thought I was off then. Do you think you might have an alcoholic drink after this? <laughs> we're off! We're, we're actually off now. You ain't toppling off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving, Nick. I don't know what you think I am. Don't swear. Don't swear. We don't swear on this channel. You know that. <laughs> it's a bit, um, yeah. You don't like it. Look at everyone looking at us. Look, they're like, look at them great people up on their thing. <laughs> anyway, back to show you my view. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like it when it ticks. I don't like that. I'm sorry. Good. Oh, I, I love this. No, this. Look, there's the pub. I'm going there in a minute. <laughs> yes. The, the pub there. We'll be making our way down there shortly. Oh, plenty of tables. So we've got plenty of beers. Anyway, we're about to go into a dark depths. Oh, what's it? What's in here, Nick? Oh no. I think you need your gun now, love. I'm armed. I'm armed. We got this. We got this. Right, what goes on now? You're hanging over the edge. Don't worry, you ain't falling out. Well, not it today, tilts. anyway. Oh, it, it tilts. tilts. That's why I don't know it. It's gone quiet. Eerily quiet. These these rides were two pounds per person. Some bumping of the boat's made during the ride, yeah. Oh, oh, I think he's going to try and throw us out, Nick. I think we could be in trouble here. Hey, up, what's it? Who's in here? Bit of gold, pirates gold. Arr. Arr. Yeah, but quiet is not necessarily good. We are on Coral Island after all, you know. This is good. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> You love it. We're nearly, we're nearly back now. Look, you. she's I tilted again. I love it when it tilts like that. <laughs> look at her. Look. She blamed me at the first. That's you tilting. I said, no, it ain't. <laughs> we're nearly at the pub, guys. Anyway, look. There we go. The arcade floor from above. I'll tell you what, this is quality. I'm well at me. <laughs> this is good, Nick. This is good. Wow. There we go. Look at him. He's pleased to see me. The pirate flyer. That is us, Nick. We're officially... We need a nice tilt, you reckon? Oh, yeah, nice bit of a bumpy tilt there. Toilets ahead. Always useful. Good to know. Uh, and that is it. That was the Pirate Flyer. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. Would, would you go on it again? Really? Oh, it wasn't that bad. It was good. So here we go, guys. Just finished them rides. Thoroughly enjoyable. Now we're off to the Buccaneer Family Bar. Arr! 
where I'm going to get us a nice beer and I'm invited by Mrs. OG and Alcoholic Beverage. I think she's earned it after that experience. So now a much earned pint. I've got a San Miguel and Mrs. OG has gone in for an alcoholic drink. So this is some little bar, it's a great bar, look at it. You can see that. There's a big old carvery going on just over there, which is very nice indeed. Smells great. But yeah, it's a great bar. Very thematic. I'm enjoying the theme of it all. Anyway, cheers guys, I've earned this. Enjoy that, Nick. No, but you've got an alcoholic drink now. I need it. <laughs> you've got VK Blue, same as a Wicked, really. Anyway, well done, you've earned it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we just left that Coral Island bar, and I have to say, we'd come walking along because you get no phone signal in her at all for whatever reason. So I had to get a phone signal or phone Josh to find out if he was coming out for dinner or not. And he said, No, no, I'm happy here. So he's missing out. No, anyway, popped in here. This is the Wild West Diner on the front. I'll tell you what, going to find a signal for the phone. Mike got off winning spoons in the end and managed to get on their Wi-Fi to send him a message. Yeah. But he's blowing an absolute gale out there. I nearly got blown away. This is okay, Tim. And I ain't the smallest of people. <laughs> anyway, we find ourselves something nice to eat, I hope. With a pine, of course. Peru's in the menu in this place. It's your usual sort of uh, grill house, you know, burgers, hot dogs, and the rest of it. But there was something on here for Mrs. OG, and there was something for me. I was tempted to upgrade to loaded fries. Do you know what? I'm glad I didn't. What you got there, Mrs. OG? A nice knob type decap. This it cats long, so. Oh, very good. I'm on the point of Stella. Lady Stella has struck again. So a good couple of pints of lager here to go with my nice meal. And as you can see here, I went for the burger. But Mrs. OG opted for that mac and cheese and chips. She said if she'd have known the size of that mac and cheese, she wouldn't have ordered the chips. Oh, well. We are back from our nice meal there, aren't we? It's very tasty, isn't it? Oh, it filled the gap for you. And, yeah, it filled me up. We just got back, little OG's got out of bed. Hello? <laughs> I think he's hanging today. Uh, we're going to the corn shop. Get some beers for the football tonight, which is due in, what's time now, Josh? It's seven o'clock, I think it's eight o'clock start. Hour, it? hour till kickoff. So we'll get some cans of beer. I've got one can left, but I'll get a couple more just for the football. Then we'll pack and then uh, home tomorrow, people. And what are you getting over at the shop? Milk, so I can have a nice cup of coffee. Coffee in the morning. Yes. Oh, darling. And uh, any chocolate for the game? I don't know. Probably not. I've got to go. I'm a bit picked out this weekend. That's what going away is all about, though, Mrs. Yeah, I know. Treating yourself and abusing one's body. <laughs> yes. Anyway, have that shop. Watching the England game, 10 minutes to go. We are still 1-0 up. And I bought these snacks for the game to go with a beer. And they're called, uh, they're called crisp from the... Oof. It was close. <laughs> Not in a good way. Uh, these are crisps from over on the corner shop there. They're called Crunch Chips X-Cut Kebab Style. Uh, so I'm gonna crack these. Have a few, and I'm going to see what Mrs. OG and little OG think of these. No, oh, you might like them. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You never know. It might be your best fish you've ever had. No, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll never know. I think I think you should still try them. I think you should. Well, this Christmas is new to me. They're called Lorenz. Mm. This is OG, still not so chicken. It's a big packet, there's a lot of crisps. Let's shake the dust up.
They're actually a really nice flavour. But they don't taste like a bad. These taste just like chicken crisps. Chicken. Chicken dollar. Straight up, these are chicken guys. Even Mrs. OG will eat chicken crisps. So Mrs. OG, try one of the kebab style <laughs> X cut crisps. Let me sweep them first. Seriously, I think they just taste like chicken crisps. You'll be back for more. <laughs> You'll be back for more, trust me. I only eat plain crisps really, and I don't really eat crisps. I don't Go on, you'll like them. See, they're good. Damn, Mum. They are very, very salty. And they do taste of chicken. Thank crisps. you. Yeah, chicken I flavoured have, crisps. But I'm um, alright, thank you. Let's try Little OG. I don't really do flavoured crisps. Little OG, try a crisp. Tell me what you think of the kebab flavoured crisps. All right, mate. Chicken. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. Chicken crisps. Yeah. They're just a more got more of the flavouring of chicken on it. Yeah. They're quite nice. Mm. Yeah, I like them. So, Mrs. OG, we came. <laughs> we saw. We enjoyed. Um, obviously, this is the end of the vlog, the Blackpool vlog. Um, my thoughts. We're going to go through our highlights and our lowlights and our summary in all. So my highlight for me um, has to be Arcade Club, really, because that's what we come for. Just such a buzz walking around there, seeing all them great arcade machines and everything mm -hmm. else from my youth. And, you know, and what was nice as well, it wasn't really over busy, so it was very, very good. Yeah, and we got to play everything you wanted to play. There was no queues. It was great. It was... It was really good, actually. Um, so that's probably the highlight for me. What's the highlight been for you? Of a highlight? <laughs> um, I don't, there wasn't a highlight as such, because it's your weekend. It's right. your birthday. Not about the shop you found. Thing. Oh, yeah. That's actually, yeah, one that street was... Away. I have found the most amazing craft shop up here. So good, in fact, you want to go back I'm in the morning. I'm nipping back tomorrow. It does, she only opens part-time. And I hope she's open. She said she is on the door, but we yeah, should say. Yeah, but an mm. amazing, amazing craft shop. We just don't get them at home. Mm. So, so, was that one of your highlights? Yeah, probably. I've, I've enjoyed it. Going yeah. on the beach, a decent beach today, I enjoyed I that. Say, yeah, we had a walk on the beach oh, today and I got to blown say, away though. That was, uh, that's an impressive beach up here, it really, really is. So sandy and it goes yeah. on forever, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's loads of bars, there's loads of pubs, the prices are good. Um, the only thing, and I never ever thought I'd find myself saying this, I'm a bit peed off with junk food. Yeah. I think as well, because the time we eat and stuff, I had a few takeaways and you're just, you're craving a decent meal now, you know what I mean? So when I go home, I'm looking forward to a, yeah. Yeah, you don't seem to be able to find, well, no, tell a lie, today we did find a carvery, but yeah. it was absolutely wedged. And we, we could did, buy, yeah. We did have a, quite a decent meal today, mm. but yeah, there's not, they don't have the pub restaurants like we have at home. No, it's more, um, no. yeah, they do, but it's just, it's fast, it's fast. And that, I think the thing is, yeah. there's so much choice here mm. that it's, it's, sport, it's finding the good places, you know, because obviously we don't know, we're not locals. But, um, I was, and uh, that Coral Beach, well, not Coral oh. Beach, what was, it, what was that called? Coral Cor Island. Coral Island. Yeah. What an arcade. Yeah. Honestly, I was blown away. We walked in, we went in from the rear entrance, not from the front. And as soon as we entered, Nick said, 
It's just like being back in Vegas. It was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, there was loads to do. Mm. And I think if you've got young children, I think it was good value for money for And especially young. if the ro uh, weather's a bit ropey, it's a perfect like, place to go, mate. It was mate. so mm. windy up here today. Mm. So windy. It's a coral island was particularly mm. good. I'd recommend that for families yes. if you've got young families. Little rides. Mm. Even we went on the ride, so, as you know. Here we go. <laughs> low lights. Low lights. Oh, I have a No, my low light is, and it's not something you can change, um, is the weather. I was shivering on Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we had some cold, cold spells, didn't we? Shivering. Blimey. Yeah, I mean, it's real just cold such spells. a shame. Had the weather been just a fraction warmer, would have been nice. Just not asking for a lot, just a couple of degrees above 10 degrees would have been nice. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think that for me, because I've just been cold the whole time since I've been here. Yeah, it's been, yeah. Yeah, the weather could have been mm. better for us. But hey, as we say, that's out of everyone's control. Yeah, we have no control But I think the time. low light was we couldn't get in the... Well, we did go in the bottom of the tower, but we couldn't go up it. Yeah, couldn't get in the tower. That because they're shame. doing maintenance work. And that, again, was because the weather's been so bad, this is the first weekend they've managed to get up there, mm. even though it was still bad. Yeah. And the ballroom, we couldn't go in the ballroom. So I can go throw some moves, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was a bit dis But we did go on the bottom of it and we went up two flights yeah. of stairs. It's because there was a huge dance oh, yeah. show going on from... Or dance competition, so that's why. But that's fair enough, isn't it? What's your low um, light been? Num low light been? Well, so it's a really mm. low light not being yeah, able to get in minor, there. But um, oh, mine was the weather. Hmm, I'm struggling here. I'm yeah, struggling. there's not really... I'll be honest, there's no, it's not, no. It's, it does what it says on the tin, and yeah. I think, I described it today, we were walking in the town, and I said, I described it today as, um, it's the British Benidorm, here in England. Yeah. It's Benidorm, it's Benidorm, without the sun, of course, it's, uh, yeah, it's Benidorm. I mean, transport links are brilliant, you've got your trams, you've got your buses, you can buy a pass for £6.60. And ride and it as much as you like day. Day, I mean, yeah. we, we have made use of that going up and down and mm. what have you. Um, yeah. So, yeah I, so it's not been negative at all, no, really. not really. And now the question is this, would I come back again? And we sort of discussed this earlier, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. And I've said, I might, but you know the problem we've got now? There are so many places here in the UK we haven't visited. No, that's right. Even on our own doorstep. Yeah. And we've done Blackpool now, so good ching. I've enjoyed it, can't complain, been very good fun. I loved the dungeons that we did yesterday, they were great fun. Oh, I loved yeah. Arcade Club, um, and I loved Coral Island today. So it's great for tourism. You could spend a week here, um, and if you've got young kids, oh, yeah. mate, it's, and the web, if you come here with yeah. young kids and the weather was good, that beach, you'd be there all the time, wouldn't you? We saw a family down there this morning, try and bless them. Even, but even they were sort of give, going back and sand castles up. and all that. But I'll tell you what, it was chunking it, well, not chunking it down. It a gale. The wind, it was just so windy. Well, the, the sun did break through, but it was only in spits and spurts. Yeah. But yep, I would, I would come back again. Yes, I would. But I would choose other destinations before this one simply because places I've not visited before. We've so done I think, it. Yeah, we've done it now. We've done Blackpool. Yeah. But like I say, I would come back. Of course I would. Um, but all in all, a very good weekend. Yeah, very nice. So, not much left to say really, except for no. thank you for watching, people. Hit mm -hmm. like, do all that usual stuff that you do for us, because it's much appreciated as always. Um, Blackpool was great. We, I'll pop back. I'll definitely come back. I'm going to do a big retro game show here once a year. Uh, yeah, may come up for that one year. You know, is that on the tower? It's no, no. It's oh. further on. It's called the. I think it's called the Norbrick Hotel or something. Norbrick. Oh, okay. Look, don't quote me on that, I it was guys. In the tower, no, it isn't. No, it's further north of the it tower. Seems to do a lot of things in the tower. But it's it's a huge, huge retro game show, and it's massive, yeah. and loads of people come up for that. So never know if I'll get invited by someone. I might come up. 
Yeah. yeah. Plenty of places to stay. <laughs> I ain't joking there, mate. It's bloody, and I'll tell you the property prices oh, here. They're mad prices compared to, compared yeah. to a home. But anyway, that's it. We digress as always. This beer, as always, is for you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Hit like, do all the great stuff. But comments, let us know your thoughts. Have you been to Blackpool before? Did you enjoy it? What was the weather like for you guys? <laughs> Have you been here when it's genuinely really hot? I'd imagine if you were here, mate, and it was hot, 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 it would be absolutely stunning. Anyway, guys, all the best. It's a goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. <laughs> and this beer is for you. See you on the next one.